It will be G2 on that T-Pistol here on Dust2, and I'm looking at a lot of luxurious B-spawns. What do we get out of the gate? Careful our vest for four. Bit of utility on MSL. Let's get this pistol round started, Chad. No defuse kit in play here, so we're going to do a post plant. Keep that in mind, but AZ, he wants to take a fight immediately, and he was fantastic on Vertigo. In case you missed it, bit of a banger. Pulled north across the line in a close affair, but Lecro, he's tucked in towards the back of the B bomb site. If he takes any of this contact, looks like Jackson Hunter might be selling a bit of a fake here. Decoy through the sky. That'll draw out some comms at least, and Jax has been left in the upper tunnels to maybe go for a double pump on this. The bomb currently resides outside of the long doors. G2 about to close in on middle. They have no info mid, but they do have info short. You can see how little of Lecro visible there. And it will be Cajun B, the P2K gang. MSL could throw util for Cajun, but... Oh, he's not going to get a chance to now. He's already lost his teammate now. Nade. The nade! Oh, my lord, the damage! Look at their health! Shaken, but... Unfortunately, it falls to two members, Lecro and AZ, to finish off the job of that HE, and I'm afraid that's not the day. Nico's low. Clean. Yeah, doesn't get cleaner than that. Don't even need the utility. Look at this. Nexa and Jax hold on to the lion's share. They still have a smoke and two flashes to carry through for Nexa. Jax with two flashbangs. You even got some USPs being picked up to be carried on through, but look straight at North, bouncing back into two scouts, MSL and AZ. They've opted into those. Smoke grenade for AZ as well. And a few more. Cajun Gade and Lecro have all gone for pistol upgrades. Deagles. North have a chance here to bounce back. I love me a scout mid, very powerful. If you get the headshot through the door, that is still that one-shot kill. Dust 2, if you look at the percentage for North, it's not fantastic. 30% win rate on it in the last three months, but one of their victories, their most recent, was over Sprout, as AZ almost takes a bit of damage there. It was a 16-4 victory in the IAM Beijing qualifier, so their most recent Dust 2 game did go well. Let's see if they can carry that through here. Gade and Cajun are two of their biggest performers. So we'll look to them to see them with some rifling impact. And they've chosen to start here on the CT side. Slow pace here from G2 in the early stages of the round, just taking that standard mid control and AZ trying to look over the top of the smoke for some damage, won't find anything. G's doing a great job of obscuring his vision. Still no tags landing, but he's at least called a couple cross towards short. High alert now for the players on A. This has been holding that long push this whole time, and just as he falls away, Cajun goes looking. Keep your eyes on that one, as they do look to pivot into a mid to B. It could work, you know. AZ's been spotted. He's only got a scout to defend it. It might fall down to Lecro's Deagle. He's no slouch on the Deagle as Lecro. I wouldn't write him out. The Flash could do a lot of work, though. He's tucked in. CT smoked out by Nico. Oh, he spots the head of Kenny. They know it's coming. AZ looking for a, just a quick scope. Jax has found Gate on the rotate. He's locking it down in deep CT, and there's another body dropped. It is the Lecro Deeg, though, and quickly dealt with by Nico. Problem solved. Very good note here for G2. They didn't panic when the smoke went down towards the B double doors. They just took their time. They negated that by smoking CT spawn a bunch more times and poised and waited. MSL seeing if he can pluck anyone out, but he's going to go down. Jax with the long range Mac 10 makes it sing, and now it's just Cajun, the Deagle in hand. He would do well to hold on to this, but finding some frags is good. Jax falls, his position given up now. Kenny's hunting, Kenny's looking. Hunter's coming over as well. So is Nico, but they've only got guns to lose right now, G2. How much do they want to invest into this hunt? Cajun won't be able to find himself a scout, won't be able to find himself an upgrade whatsoever unless they give it to him, and they're still hunting, they're still looking for this. G2 really don't want to go up against any threats in round number three. Spotted now and all. Could have just hidden in the sight boxes there. Unawares as Kenny hits a big shot. And that's clean for G2. Sure, two casualties, but they take everything away from North. And that means at best, maybe some P250s upgraded in for round number three. Should be an easy one here. G2 are now operating with three AK-47s. Don't need to opt for those SMGs anymore. Maybe send Hunter in first. Let him be the scout. Mop up a couple of easy kills. It will be a flash for Cajun B. And they've stacked towards the mid door, so we might have a bit of a brawl here. This could be carnage. Ooh, I like the nades, actually. Look at the damage it's done to MSL. He caught that one right on the jaw. All right, Nico is in an aimbot's location. It is Hunter going down. Won't be seeing any SMG frags. Necro, that's not too shabby, mate. He's only had a P250. He's managed to find himself two kills in that door fight against AKs and Galils. Anything else is a bonus. Those were a bonus. 
Don't want to really see any weapons fall into Legro's hands, as you can see how perfectionist G2 were about denying that Deagle armor in the round prior. I'm really quite curious to see when we get into the gun rounds how active North say on the CT side. On Vertigo, that was one of their strengths. Since Lecro might have a chance, Nico cleans him up and six and zero now for Nico. Had a great showing on Vertigo. It was all in vain as they couldn't pick up the map. Good to get him off to a good start though. That is an, a new presence in the G2 roster. And I'm sure Nico, as, as we learned from Malik as well, that it is a, a valuable second voice. At times it was a little quiet, he suggested. Nico and Nexa, bit of a brain trust as well. So, no leadership for Nico. He can focus on his crosshair. And well, no better time than now on the long peak. Gets the AWP and gets a chance. They jump over it. Movement from Cajun B keeps him alive. Well, MSL's got the AWP out here on the first gun round as well. But going toe to toe with Kenny is going to be no easy feat. Might have to find impact against some of the other players of G2 if he can. Wouldn't be saddling up. Wouldn't be calling for any head to heads if I was MSL. Kenny is very quick. Nico's looking like a man on a mission, isn't he? He's got intent. Up short. It's a long lean from the CTs. If Gabe doesn't tuck himself in in time, you can see he's responsible for middle as well. MSL does start to cast his eyes over towards the short presence now they've lost that info. Nexus still has the bomb outside long here, so either someone will have to come take that out of his hands or he'll have to regroup, which means there won't be any pressure if they go for an A split. More utility now being limped out towards Catwalk. That's going to keep North honest. You can see Gade now. He doesn't know whether to watch mid or rotate over to help MSL. And they're holding on to these mollies. Could be instrumental in this one. Is 45 seconds now on the clock. Two mollies and a smoke, a bunch of flashes. That's all North have yeah. to defend with. Those two incendiaries are on A. You're bang on. Gade, it would be hard for him to get the trajectory right, but he could deny the plant. Time will become sensitive if they don't start to commit within the next 10 seconds. Here comes some fake mid presence. Jax is being held. MSL flashed off the line. They'll re-peek in. Need a second flash, and he still gets a chance. Momentary though it may be. He pulls the trigger. MSL very low. Gade gets both of them, and the bomb shot down. down. Oh no, disaster has struck. One of them has to retrieve it. Nico, 14 seconds. He can't even get the bomb. He's going to have to throw it over. No, they've both dropped down. Now you just don't have time. Oh dear. They were they hoping to boost, perhaps? It's a round that goes absolutely disastrously for the T side in the end. MSL did very well to actively hold that line. Just gets a chance to pull the trigger before the flashes started popping. North weren't pressured really anywhere on the map there until the execute came in. Just able to stand towards long. Gade was more than comfortable towards CT spawn. MSL even getting a kill as they came out short. The execute wasn't on point for G2 to deal with an AWPA. And G2 are just going to bound into round number five here with one AWP in the hands of Niku as the long spawn again. He's purchased into that. Goes for the pick. Shot not landing again. And now North are on high alert. They've heard the orb shot and Nico's repicked. We take those. Nico takes those. And that's Gade going to be a little bit frustrated now watching as he has to see his team battle against a disadvantage. Admittedly, not in the finances, but in this orb from Nico. Very quick on this as well. Straight out mid doors now. Kenny's leading the charge. Nico with the AWP. All he needs is one player from that B site to have a look, right? As he's jiggling the doors, it would be a very hard AWP shot to hit. He's hoping windows. Oh, look how passive he's playing that. Nico would have to be fully exposed to CT. Oh, that's to bait it in. It. Yeah, okay. So Cajun's holding the long doors, but so far, they've got time. And actually, AZ... They're across. They run boosted. One slip the net? He has no idea. And Nico hits the shot. MSL dies on A. Are they making this work? It's just clocks. A deagle on Kenny. They're pivoting back towards A with Hunter locking the doors on B. This is working. This is some great calling. Cajun's pushed up on long. They're taking liberties. And he's still got two paranoid on B. I don't think they know Hunter's even here. That run boost to get across must have... This is cool. Uh, Hunter doesn't need to pick at all. And it might even be the save call from North. Yeah, it is. He's called that. This is wild stuff. They could <laughs> even chase if they wanted. It started with just Glocks and an AWP, and now they're hunting down the rest of the rifles. These would be free upgrades. Like, this is the buy round starting now. It's like, come and get them, boys. The market store's open. Hunter scouted it out. Looks like there's some real high-ticket items. And, well, AZ's got a nice little off-angle on the car advance. Hunter is still the unknown entity. He's just wishing he had a weapon worth using. There's AZ spotted out the window. And, yeah, looks like the hunt isn't going to get as much success as they would have hoped. Nexa has recovered a rifle, and so has Jax. So... Nothing really to gain, everything to lose. 
Double orbs. This is uh, an interesting way to be kicking off your T-side campaign here. Obviously, Kenny's going to be gifted one of those. I Nico could even hold on to the secondary. Yeah, and the fact that he re-peaked that as well, that was all Nico. Absolutely. Look at this first one. Misses the shot. He goes, oh, hold up a second. One more. I want to have a crack. And he's even got the reactions there to take down Gade. This shot onto MSL was everything you could see. Let's go A. <laughs> yeah, it's just left them with not too many options. If you get two kills on the A side of the map, it was just Cage and, Cage and B over towards uh, Long there. Had to pick his battles. They have saved three rifles. They've been able to buy back into another AWP. So North, they're not done just yet. Hunter's taken a lot of room here. Straight down towards lower dark. A minute 40 on the clock. They're doing this at quite the pace. And well, now Nico, he's defaulting with an AWP. So you cannot swing if you're North. You need to be very careful about these fights. Two AWPs to deal with now. Remember that Astralis game we were watching on Dust2 and just how they ref they gave nothing up. We watched a full 15 rounds of CTs not giving anything to that mid hold. I'd be a gap here for Gade to work with. Oh, it's a perfect smoke. Often you see that gap he was hoping to exploit, but... Someone's done their homework. Someone's lined it up perfectly. If they execute onto A again, it's going to be a little bit more difficult with two orps teaming out of cat. Double smokes on that mid. AZ's in a position to be at least cool that there's no one swinging up. I say that. Nico's going to deny that. Actually, oh, spotted the elbow. Oh, what a horrible death. And what a horrible angle from AZ. Nico playing with fire. He takes the shot. Gade's tracer fire visible, but he's just taken both of the B defenders as they hit A. Oh no, G2, you've got a distinct advantage. Don't throw it away, don't squander it. Bombs on Nexa. Nico has killed all of the B defenders, now heading over to the site they plan to hit. Kenny onto MSL, but Cajun's aggressive. He's taken down the AWPer. Bombs bomb. are loose. Gade finding the frag, this is getting awkward. Gade goes down to Nico, and he's taken another round, almost entirely on his own. Oof, all right, well, it appears Nico's had enough. Losing map number one has spurred him on. 12 kills Jesus, already. Jesus, we haven't had one of these yet. The next closest for Nico right now is five on his team. And Hazy, I just think he was completely unaware that he was even visible right there. That second shot was great as Lekker comes for the trade and to finish things off. Gade did his absolute best, dropped the bomb, made it interesting. That looks like Nico saying, yeah, it was awkward, but good job, everyone. And now they've gone back to just a single AWP setup. Nico will be back down to a rifle, and there's some damage found. Lekro jumping across, 47 points of health remaining. Just the Deagles, light spreading utility, Kevlar for some. We did mention that North were always going to be up against it in regards to firepower, and AZ was the individual who carried them across the line. He was fighting fire with fire and making it look good. But Dust2, it's much harder to stay in transition on the CT side, much harder to find those picks and get away. And the coordination that North had on their CT side of Vertigo, I'm not sure they're going to be able to get away with it here on Dust2, as the scoreline currently resides at 5-1, to one, and with these pistols, most likely 6-1. to one. G2 getting off to a very quick start here. Again, cat control completely under their control in the early stages. They have enough utility just to go for one of these set pieces again. And knowing you're up against MSL, not known... Well, he is known to be an AWPA, but not known to be... Uh, a Kenny S style offer. Oh, what? Yeah, it's going to be hard. It's going to be so hard. Such an advantage peeking over that smoke for the T's. You could see from MSL's POV how little he could oh. see. Nico's going for a very ambitious control of his AK there over the flames. Couldn't barely see him. Kenny spots another and hunts it down with Hunter appropriately. Just like the B player, they know where he is. They know at least where he was destined to play. He actually was the one that caught flack on that Kenny S shot through the doors. So he started the round with some damage and he's the last one breathing. Looks like G2, unwilling to bend the knee or surrender anything. This is another spotless T round. This will start building quite the nice bank. Just $1,400 into the next one. They haven't even had to go for all-ins towards long yet, as Necro spotted. Nico takes him down and is continuing just to maraud through the map. 15 frags. Whew. Yeah, updated to 194 ADR. That's some wild scenes in the early stages here. So guns are back out. North need to start... Gorping. Oh, okay. Look at this. Four scopes for the CT side. Two orbs, two orgs. Cajun, the only one rocking an M4A4. Thinking the range might be able to help them out a bit in some of these duels. Spawning Going towards B, a... yeah. And they leave the bomb at spawn. So this is going to feel like a B. It's going to feel like an all-in. Flashes. Smoke the molly. That's all the sounds and extra flashes you'd need to make it think it's a fast B. AZ it's rotating. Sight. Gade is the one they're hunting, and they've caught him on the rotation. That's one of the A defenders down. Now Long is a threat, and they group up short. This is cool. Very cool Counter-Strike being played out here by G2. 
You can see they're running to whittle away at the CT mindset. Cajun's trying to take some long doors control. He knows it's a priority. The nade indicates he's there. But they're up short. MSL Zorp is the only thing separating them from the site, and it's a good flash. He'll peek off of it and doesn't find anything. Incendiary to buy time, but they've got one of their own. A smoke to play around. MSL under a lot of pressure here. He peeks over. Another miss. Nades now advancing in. AZ trying to be the hero of this round. It's Nexa to fill the feed. MSL responds, but up from behind, it's still Nexa. Finally shut down. The org makes that duel easy. Lecro's low. AZ lingers in the smoke and nutmeg here. <gasps> but Jax is the one. In the shadow. Yep. Element of surprise. Hunter just has to tuck in and G2 will convert. Oh, did he get it in the end? Yeah, we got the orb saved and now a little skybox. Yeah, check this out. So watch this CT smoke. It was used against them here. This is so they can cross mid. You've got AZ trying to use the AWP for mid control and all these steps and upper tunnels has drawn his vision over towards B. Gade, also the rotator. You can see how quick he's back on this. The call comes through and this smoke that I highlighted oh. is used against them. So AZ can't see them oh, while they kill Gade. So using their own smokes against them to get an opening kill here. Completely isolating that mid play. You feel so vulnerable trying to rotate to B. You're supposed to be in, in that floating roll. Ugh. Gade had a nasty round and well, Necro catching some flak through the doors. Probably doesn't want to re-peak again. Nico just taking liberties and long. That's some control. What a scary side G2 is on a map like Dust2 with all the freedom. To do whatever they want, man. And they've got some big brains as well throbbing into the second map. Let's not forget this is for elimination. Oh, that's a perfect catch. A little off angle from Cajun pushed up and catches Nico's jump for info on pit. They can't afford to let this one slip away. G2 are rolling through with this momentum, and it is only up against unarmored deagles. Yeah, they do well to drop this one, but with just over a minute on the clock right now, they have long under control. They can go for one of these Navi-style approaches, can even limp out some smokes to bait any utility that North are working with, and we can see it's very little. Just one smoke in the hands of Lecro here. The orbs heard. They have cat control. And they walk up. They start their attack. Deep smokes. That makes it harder for these pistols to push on through. I see. No funny business flanking that ramp. Very deep smokes. MSL has to respect them. You might want that flank, though. Three of them heading back on short. They want to go CT. MSL's lost his life. They're charging towards CT as a pack. They're hoping that this gap can be something to push and punish. Hunter's got a perfect angle. Cajun misses his shots, and well, now Aim locked map. out. Aim map begins. Gade is still down there and confirms it with a miss of his own. <laughs> Love tap. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Oh, that's going to be the eighth on the board. G2 just continue to storm forward. Eight to one now as these final few players are going to see what damage they can do. Gade will lop off the head of Hunter, but the immediate trades come out. Jax and Nex are finishing off two, and it's just AZ. He's going to get isolated kill. That was his Ooh, best for a second. Shooting. Not going to get close enough for one of these rifles. Might get blown in his direction, actually, so almost gets away from it. Dies with the detonation. Kenny, the only man surviving. Didn't have to do anything whatsoever in that post-plant scenario. And North, yeah, makes sense. Taking a time out, needing to talk through their options. It's all gone downhill since they lost that round to just the AWP of Nico with the upgraded pistols of the other few. Some good shooting. But that means nothing. You can see here, truckload of rounds on the trot, five to be exact for G2 Esports. Looking to run away with map number two here. Nuke will be the third and we will need it by the looks of things. That'll be an interesting affair. Dane's on Nuke going up against the G2 who are in their early stages when bringing this roster together. It was definitely not a map that they were too comfortable on. Whilst I agree, Chad, I reckon if, this, if G2 can maintain this trend and this form, I think the the question will be truly be, we'll get a real cliche battle of, of strategic Counter-Strike versus brute force Counter-Strike. I think though G2 are capable of the, the former, I think this individual Nico driven T side. Bit of brawn versus brains, you reckon? Yeah, truly, I do. I, th I think we're going to get the full cliche because there's, there's one way for North to win and there's one way for, for G2 to do exactly what they're doing here on Dust2 again. he has been able to rotate over this time. Lucky him. Door smoke on the hinge. Make the vision a bit harder as they jump up towards the Xbox. Molotovs are good as well. Give Adren some credit for that one. Don't know who we actually did it first. We never do. Yeah, we just pick it up from the officials. So he was the first man. When we were casting. Yeah. 
back with Avant Garde. That feels like a lifetime ago. They were throwing not only that smoke, but the uh, the pair you'll be seeing thrown out very regularly on these A takes. The one that Nico uh, BS'd MSL through. Now, the thing with this is if you're north and you're continuously giving up cat control and not trying to disrupt these executes, you need to either play retake or hope to God that MSL is getting you multiple kills here as they flood out. The fact that they're currently sitting in a 2-1-2 setup, two towards B, one towards middle, and two towards the A site, means that if MSL is flashed off the line, he will drop back. Wait, he's committing to this. Going onto the ramp, he needs to deliver right now. Yeah, smokes are being dropped off on that orb corner, but he will have vision of one. What on earth, Jax? Gade's got a huge flank here. He doesn't get the triple, but it's enough to slow him down. Cajun as well from Pit does not go down to Hunter. And it is just the two of them. Nico and Hunter, cousins in arms. Bomb going down, courtesy of Nico. Hunter holding short. He's in limbo. The nade could do some significant damage, but it's not going to rebound. Oh, one Ooh, HP. He lives to tell the tale, and there's more where that came from. Flames thrown by Gade. What do you do, Hunter? You're going to go down unless you push forward, and he does. Actually catch Lecro. What? He tagged up another. They were doubled up. Hunter's actually got the frag. He's got one HP, and now his teammate has found another. He has to save. AZ doesn't have an option. What a turnaround, considering the HP. That HE brings him down to one, and Hunter stands his ground against Lecro. You can see the difference there with the decision-making. If AZ dropped the Molotov on the site in the exact same formation that he put that HE, that could have been both players burning oh. to death. Hunter left on one. It would have been one tick. He's out. Nico, hot feet, having to deal with short and long. That could have been the second round for North, but that's just the difference in the decision-making right there. And Gade, the almost hero too, could have been the third. But not enough. As on one HP fighting like that, Hunter knew exactly what he had to do. And they get two kills, they mop up the round, and they put the ninth. Running away with this one. And fantastic to pull that one off. It got dicey for a moment. Certainly did. Nine now for G2. Holding on to that run ever since the uh, fourth round of play where North found something. And it was a bit of a drought ever since. Gay jiggling nicely. Doesn't really do significant damage to Kenny, but he'll hold the tight line. He knows he's only against pistols, so why not? Flash deters him. MSL and AZ taking a big push here. Did Jack spot him? They're not ready for this. Hunter's ready. Oh, oh is he not? Yeah, Hazy's won that duel, but Nico's very, very quick to punish. He doesn't want to be ahead of his own smoke or his teammates. That's long on lock for a couple more seconds. He was spotted as well, so if he can quickly readdress somewhere else on the map, they could posture a bit of a threat here with the last three remaining members. Lecro can look on... Oh, he could have looked on towards middle. That smoke has completely removed him. Such a powerful one. Gade can't even push through this. And if you do the jump, you're screened. actually you're completely covered by that smoke. Yeah, just like that. Perfect demonstration from G2. They're back to Cat again. They've really found the weakness here against North. Just time and time again, they punish with these executes. Gade might try that flank again, and they're down a man, so there is easily a gap. Jax is dealing with the B-bomb If he walks into B and sees it clear, does that change anything? That should do, especially considering the time, but it depends on how much he clears on out here. So with 35 seconds left, they're going to wait for him to get contact before they commit onto A. And at this point, Gade, he's segregating them. He could have a bit of impact if he finds a kill or two. Jumping on up, gets oh, one. What a shot from Gade, and he's wormed his way away. Jax is coming from B now. Yeah, 20 seconds. Jax convinced that B is clear. And that's the bomb from Cajun. Oh, B, no. double up on the dig. What a disaster for G2. It was Gade's frag that's just put them into chaos. They just don't have time. They've lost it all. Gade's even recovered an orb. That may not be saved as the Molly comes out. Gets himself up on the stairs and gets away. Wow. Cajun's double D just completely seals the deal. North will take that any day of the week. Oh, Lecro even got there just in time to pick up an AK. So from that round, they go in with a scout and a couple of deagles. Walk away with two AKs and an AK. And this is how it started. Nico with some good trades, but this shot right here. Shot right there. And he's going to be real upset with that one. And this is some poised stuff here from Cajun. Big round, and look, maybe Jax lurking towards the B site was the undoing. If they'd just gone with their standard execute, they had the number advantage, they would have been able to run over with the firepower that they had in North. But that's a round, and this is a boost. Over the top of the smokes, MSL looking to get a little bit cheeky here. Won't be offered up anything, has to dismount. On top to deal with close mid doors. It's back towards Cat, they go, flash it over. MSL has to dip on back in towards CT now. They're being pushed back. The utility usage from G2 is great within the early stages. No information. No chance for a frag. And now That's it's going to Dribble smoke B, flashes B, and the CT smoke as they start hitting short. That's very convincing. You've got three CTs out of position. MSL's not on A this time as well. 
flashing long, so Gade's kept out, and he's evaded the first, not the second. They're into the site now. Can't get across. Cajun on long, more flashes. This is great from G2. Completely locking him out. Jax is holding the rotate. Nightmare scenario for G2 is if they all play short in the post plant because there's still utility to lock them in. Counter-Strike by the numbers would mean you cannot just tuck into Cat. You have to play some more forward positions. And Jax, he was oh. instrumental, but he's fallen down. Easy was so, so ready and aware. Times it well on the re-peak. Charging into the side now, looking good, but the transfer from Nico is huge. They've got the frags, though. And do they have the time? It'll need to be the kit defuse. All good in the hood. Cajun has it. And so North stringing together a couple. G2, I said they had to hold on to that dominance. It could slip away to a competitive half here. That's a bit of a mistake there from G2. Surely they've gone through with their theory that when you play against a retake setup on A, you can't just all play off towards Cat. You have to be postured over towards the bridge. Gandalf ready to fight as they come up CT and long. If you give them control like that, you're going to get beat down. You're in a very tight choke point. Now, the scoreline is still 9-3, to three, but if North were able to get three more on the board, they're able to get this as a 9-6 half. From how this started, North would have recovered. They will have some confidence to run away with this and get back into the game. Woo. Damage to AZ. Great shot there from Couldn't Kenny. Couldn't pick a better target. Yeah, that's going to hurt. 13. 37 frags, by the way, from AZ on Vertigo. So if you're wondering why we're a bit uh, remiss to not be seeing something similar into this map, that's why. 37. He was the one to keep the G2 individuals quiet at times. G2 might opt for a different approach now that that A execute hasn't worked. They're still going for cat control, and you want to make sure that you continue with this as the circle jump run boost for Hunter around the corner looks stylish. There was no one home to receive that. Sounds are heard from Gade, hearing the scoping, understanding that players do have cat control, and the utility is good for G2 to go for this again. Lining up the smokes. This will come down to the calling and time of Nexa. They've left long open. Jack's just to deal with the rotation through tunnels again. Becker looks like he wants to have a look in here. Yeah, he does. Okay, patience is everything here. 45 seconds, Nexa's going to drop it. So that's the wall smoke. Molotov towards the site from Nico. Double. They'll be able to peek over that second smoke. It's actually towards CT, and Jax just takes the upper out of it. Gade, not this time. They were ready for it this time. Hunter punishes, and now they can commit. Now they release Nico into the catwalk. Hold. I say that with bated breath. He's actually been spotted out. And oh, easy as that. Sits. Lecro down, pats him on the heads, and says, not today, kid. Not today. Nico, 22 and 5. Just adding some more average damage per round to his stats. He's even hunting down an AZ, who is... Just around the corner. Oh my God, Nico. Nico, you just are unrelenting. Oh, come on. Leave him alone. He's killing him in T spawn. 10 for G2. It is just a one man band trumpeting his way through Dust 2 here. Good, good catch from Hunter as well. Really like that. Yeah, they, they knew were that ready previously for Gade likes to catch that timing. You can see it almost looked like a fake as well because they sent Jack so far ahead of the rest of the crew there. He was all the way on site while four of them were still over towards Catwalk. So a rough way to go right there as North, they will buy back in. More damage on the cross, both MSL, Lecro, and even AZ copying a bit of damage with the kill for MSL. He's finally, finally found one. And Cajun's caught another. Some individual brilliance, just a one out jewel on long. MSL peeking over that mid smoke works perfectly. If they just walk out mid to B right now, there is so much room for G2 to work with, but they don't know that. Tucked in towards B will be AZ and Lecro again. Just the jiggle peaks on both tunnels and the double doors. Hunter's finally taken that space. There's two towards long for north, one in swing of MSL, and now that they've finally fortified long with this blue bin boost, Gade can play in rotation, but he's hanging around. They're not quite sure where this hit will come in. Smoke towards mid to B now. Might get them moving, might get them thinking. A Molotov as well to show a bit more intent. Secondary smoke, they might bite down. Nice lineup, Hunter trades. There's one more on B, it's Lecro. Needs to get in the doors now. Oh, spots him, good shooting from Lecro. Trying to hide, Jax just about evades Gade's gaze, but gone down all the same. It will be four then for North and a perfect team ace. Everybody con contributing in the Danish roster. So last round, first half, second map. Kenny at the buy-in here with the Tech-9, so money has been kept on us for G2 throughout this game. The late resurgence from North, it's whittled down the economy to a point where there will be a Tech-9 and a Galil, three AKs, no AWP to work with. 
Utility is good. We haven't seen any real all-ins towards long as a team from G2. Just a couple of picks or individual attempts. So this would be the time for the gear change. Smoke towards the corner. Flashes to follow. Looks like they're all in for long. Oh, they've cancelled. They're going short. It was yeah. just Hunter. He's dead. Great pick. Okay, MSL was smoked off and chose to pull the trigger at the perfect time. Cajun, lovely peek. Gets another. G2 looking a bit battered and bruised. A fifth round here for North is in hot pursuit. Gade's using that smoke. He's hidden within it. Fades. And just before Nexa goes down, that's a crucial find from Nico. Reacts in time to keep the leader alive. And don't forget, he not only has the bomb, he's got some smokes and flashes. Need to get them deployed. They do. AZ's on CT, smoked off, the flash oh. is good. Oh, MSL jumps to survive. 20 HP as the nade does try to chip away even further. Six, Lecro's low, and they're both even lower. Six feet lower, AZ has to save the day, and Kenny denies it. That's an 11-4 half, boys. That's a biggie. G2 want to take us to nuke. Next is going to go and hydrate. You should too. We'll be back to see if G2 can survive and take us to three. Millions of gamers rage quit every day. Mountain Dew Game Fuel's got you covered. Game Fuel is specially crafted with ingredients shown to improve accuracy and alertness. Another one saved by Mountain Dew Game Fuel. Oh, this could be the end of the world as we know it. We never thought we'd get this far. Time can stay true. These songs I wrote. G2 have bounced back after their woes on Vertigo against North with an 11 to 4 half. Looking to close this one up quick and take us to Nuke, but do North have anything left to say about it on the T side? MSL and the boys, they will have to work hard. It's not going to be easy. I'm joined by Machine here as we bring you the second half of map number two. Alex, you think there's any fight left in North? I kind of want Nuke, so I'll hold out hope that we get to see it. But there is definitely a, a universe where North 
can just put G2 on the back foot early and run with it. Yeah, well, you can see the utility of the buy coming out here. It's going to be, oh, aggression. That's what we need to keep our eyes is straight up middle. They want to barrel. They want to finish this quick, G2. Yeah, but I mean, it depends how Gabe goes, right? If he starts walking up fast, there's going to be so much space. Next is responsible for the cross with a P2K at CT. AZ's already watching the flank as well. So as the shadow advantage here, how inquisitive does Kenny want to get? He's locked them in. And there's the shadow, AZ with a free kill. Gade's already found one as well. So straight onto the A bomb site. Nico's found the trade. Information for North early is the bomb will go down. They still have a lot of utility for this post plant. A smoke and a Molotov on cage and flashes for MSL to work with. Oh, that Molly. Get short. Yeah, that Molly's going to spur them forward, surely. Oh, they're actually going back. Even worse. Perfect use of their utility. And now they've taken the space. A deep smoke on top of it. Oh. This is great video gaming. Oh, nice. what? Hey, as Jax actually catches that smoke push. What are they planning? A run boost? Go on. Over MSL's head. Go on, Hunter. Trying to find him. Leaps over. Oh, they've gone unchecked. Trying to nutmeg. No one's checking. It should be MSL's double. Jax goes fallen, and Nico does too. A double for both of the remaining. And that's a pistol and a half, isn't it? I am very, very impressed that AZ was watching the flank that early. So they're aware of the gaps that they were leaving open, and G2 might want to look for some aggression. As you take a look at the scoreboard here, as we can see this funny looking run boost and MSL getting the must make kills, that was a huge haul in the first half from Nico. I think he had 26 kills or 26 maybe after that pistol frag. Nobody else on his team even has double digits. So we could come into question some problems here if G2 right. are unable to get going early. They lose a couple of tilt rounds. Their players aren't getting multi kills, but we're going to find out very quickly. They're straight into the four spy. Deagles for four. CZ75 for Hunter with utility. Oh, and Jax has lined up a perfect crosshair place. Deagle. Committing. They are fully committing. Jax just needs one more. And he's chipped away at AZ. That's good from the high. Oh my God, Hunter's got no bullets. He accepts his fate, but he finds a double kill. Dropping his smoke in panic. And making the second round force look good. Making it look competitive. Nico's very late to the arrival. Kenny doesn't want to go down without a fight here. Nico's trying to lock him in tunnels. He's hiding in the smoke. Oh, and he's missed his own. A bit flubbed. There is a tiny gap that could be punished here. And yeah, Gay's holding it. Both of them are. Gade finds a crucial frag. Nico 26 and 7. Can they save it? The hard shot. Steadies him. Tags him up. AZ's vulnerable now. Nexa wants to help as best he can. Nico's hunting. AZ tucked in. Crossfire held, but he does hit the shot. It's all onto Gade now. He finds the first. He's hunted down by Nexa. No time for the round win, but they get all the kills they need. Nexa, no, got the time to save his rifle and defuse. Needs to go shopping for something a little better. Looks like it's an AK. Good right. job. Hey, you could see there the communication probably heavy that there was a defuse kit over towards platform, but just not enough time. Started in style, but that actually spurred North forward. And this is fantastic from AZ and Gay, just not to show anything. By not fighting, they secured the round. It was all using that bomb as that sixth man or third man in the 2v2. It's North. They've managed to keep their head above water, but it's not done just yet. The AK for Nexa with head armor behind it. Deagles for Jackson, Kenny. Well, and Nico as well. Bloody hell, this one gets scary. Hunter's actually opted for the P250. Long control taken, but look, how are you going to get past this gauntlet? These Deagles, they don't tend to miss that often. All right, peering on down. This is just going to be a matter of timing. We're on board with Kenny here, Nico in tow. The smoke's towards the cross. Ooh. Shots sing out. There's not a lot of utility for them to work with, so they have to spur forward on this. Nico's actually going to drop a smoke of his own, and that'll make taking the A bomb site even harder. North needs to stay calm. Flash through. Nico gets caught off guard. They're taking the space. Yeah, next is AK, though. He's actually managed to find himself a double. Surely finished eventually. AZ does what AZ's been doing throughout the series. Hunter spotted on the elevator, Ooh. but he hits a good shot, maybe. With Cajun so disconnected, if they could just find AZ, it's not going to be easy shots to hit. A P250 and a Deagle. Cajun finally arriving to the party. AZ should have this one on lock. He's continued to be dealt with by Kenny S and Smoke CT to make Hunter's job all the more difficult. It's a safe plant here, and it looks like Kenny and Hunter are going to split up their forces. One through long, one through short. Cajun caught off guard, looking the wrong way. Still going to make the kill, so surviving right now it will just be Kenny. Very difficult round to win. Hello, AK-47. Good call. Going to save that, going to drop that across to a teammate. He's even going to have enough to buy an AWP in the next, so G2's first gun round will be looking pretty. 
But North, they quickly clawed this back. It looked like a dominant first half. You can see just after the pistol round, if you convert, if you keep it clean, a scoreline that was 11-4, quickly to 11-7. They get that first gun round. They convert against the Eco again. They're well and truly back in this, North. To wait and see what their first gun round approach does look like because they will be slightly hamstrung. Cajun and AZ have to drop guns across here going into the fourth round of play in the second half just to make sure everybody can get the utility they desire. And not even an AWP coming out. So North will be operating with five rifles. You might see something a little bit more execute heavy here. We'll have to be picture perfect with their nades to make sure that Kenny is unable to pick them off. This is where I start to believe in North. If, if they convert here round 19, you send them back into that 3,400 awkwardness. They've invested all but the goose egg. You can see zero dollars for the majority. And here comes Nico. Oh, he's in the perfect place at the perfect time. A full 30 bullets unloaded into the smoke, even throwing an extra 12 from his sidearm. He has completely denied Long. Try something else, he says. Oh, this is quite interesting. If they go mid to B now, there might be a gap and pressure on Hunter and Jax. Jax not familiar with holding the B bomb site. Traditionally a long holder. Still has a chance here. Smokes towards CT Molotovs as well. Nico is pushing long during this and good utility usage from the B defenders. They've locked them out towards window and doors. It's all coming down to timing. North don't have the don't have the utility to re-smoke. Yeah, they're gonna be locked in as that fades. Kenny will be able to peek. Nico's working on doors as well. Oh, Kenny held by Cajun. This is a crucial shot to hit, and well, he's missed it. The Molly will force the fight, but are they ready for Nico? He wasn't, and Kenny finds the fight in the flame. Nexa, he needs to go down, but he hits the shot. And that's a near spotless round. They recover the AWP as well, thanks to Nexa. Four left standing at the end of that one. G2 do connect the 12th, and this is where hope starts to dwindle. And this is where the impact of those eco rounds for G2 is really felt, because North... They're working with very little. The 1,400 loss burn is coming through at the high end is given 2,900 to Lecro. At the low end, it's 1,500 for Cajun. They've had to take a timeout to talk through their options here. A force buy wouldn't be the worst call. Give them something to operate with. Try and keep the pressure on. But look at Nico running away with this 30 kills already. Having a game of it. Locked them down towards long. Rotated in to help out Kenny. Seals them up a very, very nice first gun round here. Now, I want to see the distribution of players again for G2 going up against what they think might just be a bit of an eco or a low buy. I want to see who's holding where. We heard from Nexa that things have been rejigged around. You know, I didn't have Malik down as someone that would dabble in scatter cushions, but... No? No, he's fully scattering. Maybe it's his partner who's scattering the cushions. Oh, you're right. I don't, I, that's an assumption I've made there. Maybe Malik's uh, partner in crime is more of a scatter cushion than fashionado. Or he's had someone in, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah? Professional in. That was the, the Hank G approach. You get them in, you get them to design the place. But yeah, North are going all in. They've shoved their chips to the middle of the table. They've got two AKs with head armor behind it. Oh, okay, so I mean, you're right. Jax is uncomfortable at B in the sense of not playing it for the majority of his tenure in the G2 jersey. Hunter's there alongside him for now. Having Nico as your swing man, I do love it. Lots of flexibility. Next, are locking down long. It is a strong A hold when you consider the pieces of the puzzle for G2 on that bomb site, but retooling back towards B. They need to get past Jax deep in the site. Hunter up close, lots of footsteps heard. This nade is good. Yeah, he's got a flash as well to re-peak. And that's the first frag. They got more util to dump now. And for this, oh, this full investment's just gone awry. North, they put everything, as you said, into the center of the table and well, G2 just flip it. Gade and AZ gone already. I don't see a way back into That's round an number 20. AK on Lecro, yeah. It's going to be very, very difficult. You have to hit some absolute bangers of shots. And you can see MSO, he's just stood towards long, waiting for the smoke to clear with a nutmeg. But Nexa, he doesn't want a piece of it. Playing it safe over towards pit. You've got Kenny mid-long with the AWP. A very standard setup. MSO would have to hit an amazing shot here to even consider taking down Nexa. There it is. Spammed on through the pole. And now it's just a two-on-five situation. 30 seconds left. The bomb down. That would be the only... Real Constellation North could take away from this round. Steps on out. Lecro with a banger. Yeah, that's exactly the start. Not the finish. Nico just pokes his head up and actually takes away 50% of the components required to win this 1v4. Great plant, though. Yeah, he's done well to do that, but edging out of the smoke next up holds him down. But you're right, Chad. Considering what they invested, a full investment, a bomb plant from Lecro only made possible by his frag onto the AWP holding the cross. 
So right here, North probably will have to take the save. You're about to see the 1900 plus that 800 from the plant. And once again, it's not enough to buy. It does facilitate a half purchase. So Deagles, P250s, a way to stay threatening, but not a way to really take it to G2, who are now up to 13 rounds and looking good for 14. They've saved the AWP. They've given that back to Kenny. So G2 are sitting pretty to close this one out. North are just talking through their buy. What options? What does MSL want them to go with here? It's just going to be a deagle from Lecker. Everyone else staying conservative. Two flashes from Gay to set this up. So a very, very light investment from North here. Definitely looking at round 14 at G2. And as soon as they see these Glocks, the little vacuums of the Eco Hunters, I'm sure they'll come out. Footsteps heard. Kenny put on high alert. Misses the first. Nico mopping it up. Looking for more ADR. More kills. There's 32 now on the board. Kenny missing another. Next, him mops it up. Cajun goes down and clean as you like. G2 Esports, 14 to 7. Just two more rounds to take us to map number three. It will be Nuke. It will be the decider, the winner. Goes forward till tomorrow, Monday, surviving where they will play mouse sports. MSL has got a very far BP because he's gone for glass cannon orb. So, might just hold that cross. Going to try and warp on an early advantage. Try and exploit those fully bought up CTs. He knows he doesn't have a full advantage. Maybe he can bang one of those on the way across. Two across, though, no issues there. And even an aggressive smoke. What's he? Oh. he's giving it to him <laughs> on a silver platter. You'll take those. You love those if you're MSL. Oh, wow. Hello. That's a children's book right there. Opened up. It's uh, very large text. <laughs> See? And lots Spot, of pictures. run. <laughs> <laughs> See? Can he die? <laughs> well, let's see if G2 can mop up a four on five disadvantage. They still have some big fraggers left in the server. And this boost towards CT spawn from Hunter means that if it is a mid to B, he can poke himself up over that box. If he doesn't get Molotov out of position, let's see how diligent North want to be. Rocking a truckload of utility now, looking for short control. Next, uh, want some info, want some space towards long. A very deep Molotov now is thinks better of it. Doesn't actually want to clear out the bedroom. So they're rotating back towards A. They have a feeling this one might be an execute. Nico with an AK. Well, it may as well be as good as an AWP. Get your need out. Oh, Lecro spotted on the jump. Nico's, he's a bit fluffed, his line's there. Flipping the script is Lecro. Two frags opening. Looking for an eighth, and the nade damage is colossal, but they need to finish some of these off. Lecro evades the frags nicely as he takes the head off Hunter, and Jax is just going to look to preserve what little he has. They've got plenty of cash to come back in. But the fact is that they managed to find those practically the first for free. Kenny just walking into the scope of MSL and the rest just came naturally to Lecro on the A finish. Yeah, maybe feeling confident with the scoreline right now to take a couple of risks, but that's North getting a nice round. And I want to credit Lecro for some good shots there coming out of short. MSL said he's basically speaking Danish, I believe. Yeah. So that's wild as well, changing his language, being able to uh, converse in the native tongue for the remainder of the team. Jax is going to get it. Nice kill there onto Gate. That gives up his position, and they'll think better of trying to hunt him. Necro just containing now with him top middle, met with Cajun round. Now, number eight on the board for North. 14 to eight is the scoreline. And here's the kill. So you understand what Kenny's going for. Trying to one way there, be a little bit cheeky with that smoke, but MSL's happy with that. And yeah, just giving him it. Just almost handing it to him on a silver platter right there. MSL... You're not going to see him win too many of those head-to-head -head duels against Kenny, but that one was extremely telegraphed. The buy will be back out. Kenny still with an AWP. Interesting uh, Counter-Strike roster update made by Godsent. They're actually benching Crystal. Just seen that on Twitter. Cajun going down on the charge on long. There's more where that came from. Nico spray is good. Lecro punish. Needs a double. Knows Nexa was around. He's actually using the elevated position. MSL could catch him off here, but a good angle. And now he knows there's another. Lecro on the edge of the smoke, and Nexa takes this round. Takes the ball by the horns and practically puts 15 on the board. It is only Gade walking into the off angler jacks. So does 215. Just the one eluding G2 for now. And you can see that barely enough for the full AKs will be three rifles if they desire. That's twice they've gone all in towards long and twice they've been absolutely dismantled. Once by Nexa, once by Nico. And North will be taking their second to last time out. Not a lot to talk through here, really. They haven't had too many gun rounds to work with. It felt like there was a real opportunity to, for them to warm into the second half, but the destruction towards Long, taking the wind out of the sails. You can see Jumpy, the coach here, 
just talking through their final options. As this is very likely to be the last round of play. Pensive music, lots of concentration, and maybe even starting to think about nuke map number three. Not far away now. AKs are out. Galil, Lekro, what are you going to buy into, my friend? A Deagle. MSL rocking the AK with no utility. Everybody else is at least able to get a few nades. Full sets for Cajun, AZ, and Lekro. Gage just with a smoke and a flash. They'd have to pull off a bit of a miracle round right here. Miracle towards B, perhaps. Could be that all in. Could be that pressure towards Jax that they're thinking about now that they've identified which side of the map he's on. But look, Hunter's already tucked into lower dark. Cheeky play. This could be a very quick end if North aren't checking their corners religiously. And he's oh. found Necro's Deagle. You could not ask for more OP. of a hero play. Yeah, exactly. Jax has used his smoke and his molly already. You heard them both. Surely this B explosion. Cajun's lining himself up something, I think, in the flashbang department. Oh, Nico. No, 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 no. 36 kills. Yeah, he's on for his own 40. He saw AZs and was jealous. Jax in the tight corner. Does control his spray. Masterful stuff with the AK-47. Jack's gonna burn, swings out, does not go down, evades Cajun B's gaze and finished it off. It's 16 to eight. That's domination, that's a statement from G2. They'll see you on Nuke.